Keyframing is an editing technique for automating volume changes, such as to increase or decrease the volume of a background music track. With keyframing, the volume for portions of a track can be adjusted without affecting the entire track. The following example will demonstrate how to keyframe a fadeout. To start keyframing, select the Envelope tool from the toolbar. Blue lines will appear at the top and bottom of the tracks in the timeline. Next, click within the track at the moment you want the track to start fading out. It's best to click where the dark gray and the light gray portions of the track meet. A keyframe, which has a stack of four dots, will appear. Then, move the cursor to the right to the desired moment the fadeout will end. Click to create the second keyframe, but before releasing the mouse, drag downwards. This will create a fadeout because the first keyframe is at a full 100% volume, and our second keyframe is at a lower volume. When the track is played, the volume will automatically decrease between the two keyframes. The dots for each keyframe are handles that can be used to adjust the keyframe. Click and drag the handles up to increase the volume, or down to decrease. To change the duration of the fade, click and drag the keyframe right or left. Keyframes that are close together will create a quick fade, whereas keyframes that are further apart will create a long fade. To delete a keyframe, Click and drag one of the handles out of the track. When done keyframing, go back to the default selection tool. Audacity does have built-in fading effects, but be aware that these are permanent. Fades created with keyframes, on the other hand, can be modified at any time with the envelope tool. More information about Audacity can be found in our other videos, or by visiting the PLU Knowledge Base. If you need assistance, please feel free to reach out to Instructional Technologies. <laughs>